If you've ever wanted to integrate 3D into a website, your knee-jerk reaction is probably one of, this is going to be a pain in the ass. But that isn't the case anymore. In fact, this here is the project you're going to learn how to create in this super quick, super simple tutorial. Now, we're going to be using Spline, which is a robust, freemium, web-based app for creating all sorts of cool shit in 3D. So, here's the stack for this particular project. Spline, vanilla JavaScript, Split Text, and GSAP, or the GreenSock animation platform. So, let's rock. Now, after creating a new Spline project, go ahead and delete that starting plane. Then, because this is a physics-based project with things interacting with each other, enable physics on the right property inspector. Now, next up, we want to add a cube, a big old beefy cube, like an ice cube on steroids. Then, switch to the isometric perspective. It's like a normal perspective, except you've tripped on acid and things just don't look quite right. Go on and add a much smaller cube. Now, when you click play, nothing happens and your life is worthless. Now, let's fix this by selecting the small cube and enabling dynamic under body type. Now, click play and now it just got real. Now, go ahead and give those cubes some color, like a nice light blue. And then hit Control D to duplicate these suckers, grab a bunch of them, duplicate them some more, randomly rotate them, and adjust the gravity parameter to make them fall at different speeds. Look at that, freaking awesome. Although, did you notice that one lonely cube that fell to its death? So sad. Next up, let's add a couple point lights and situate them so that our big cube just looks cooler. Now, we're ready to hit export, after which we copy the URL like so. Now it's time for some good old fashioned barbecue sauce like my grandpappy, I mean, wait, 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 what? I mean HTML and CSS. So let's paste that URL in, but in order to get this sucker full screen, we need to add a couple of CSS rule sets to ensure that it's all big and beefy right in our faces. Notice that damn black background? Go back to spline, click export, and disable the background field, damn it, because I forgot that part. Ah, there we go. Now, let's add a headline and a subheadline and style them up. Now note, in order to hide the type initially, we're going to use clip path here. Now after this, we're going to import both split type and GSAP via CDN. Now split type literally splits the type up into their own HTML elements with their own classes so that we can animate individual characters later on with GSAP. Now, all we need to define is the timeline with GSAP and then use the from method to animate each character on the Y axis. We can also chain multiple from methods together to create more complex animation sequences. And trust me, this way is a million times better than doing this all in CSS alone. Now, to make this stuff even cooler, go back to spline, select the big cube, and add a state. Now, states just allow you to do cool and interactive stuff. With a new state selected, move the cube down and out of view. After that, we can add a transition event where after a 3.5 second delay, we'll make a transition from the base state to the new state. Now hit export. And here's the moment we've all been waiting for, for um, the last three minutes and 12 seconds. Ain't she a beaut? I think so. Now if you like this new style of video tutorial, which took me for freaking ever, subscribe up and let me know your thoughts in the comment. Goodbye.